Welcome to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast with Dat Boy Mo 629. Discussing everything fitness and everything motivation. Here is where you will get your fitness education and motivational fix. Now, here's your host, Dat Boy Mo 629. Good, everybody. It's that boy Mo Six Two Nine coming to y'all with another edition of the Started on the Fitness Podcast. This time we're going to talk about four tips to crush your fitness goal while traveling. Now, if you're going on vacation or you work right for 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 your job and you you travel frequently and you got fitness goals to to hit, um, staying hitting those goals can be difficult. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as traveling and you know going from State to state, city to city, traveling from, you know what I'm saying, airplane and stuff like that, and going to airports and stuff like that. It can be very, 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 very difficult to hit those goals. So, in this podcast episode, we're pretty much going to go over four tips that I have used myself as far as traveling. Um, avid traveler, been to Egypt, been to China, been to the Dominican Republic, been to many different states, been in, and, um, so traveling and trying to stay on track with your fitness journey can be a challenge. So I'm just going to hit you with four tips. It's going to be a very short podcast today, but four tips as far as um, what I do, I have done and what I do, and to, you know, hit no goals. Uh, the number one, number one, I've always, when I pick a hotel, right, I've always looked at the hotel gyms. Right. When I look at hotels, I always look at the gym. I look at the the pictures on Google or whatever site that it's on, whether booking dot com, Expedia, whatever, or the hotel site itself. I look at the hotel gym and see if it fits within what I like to do as far as working out. Sometimes the gyms are really, really small and you gotta make do what you can make do. A lot of times the gyms are decent size, so you can actually get a good workout in. There was a gym in Vegas. Um, on a hotel, I believe is the Venetian Hotel we went to, and that gym was immaculate. Um, it was a great, great, it was a big gym, nice size gym in Vegas. Um, also in Hawaii, the gym that, uh, the hotel that we stayed at, I believe Turtle Bay, had a real nice gym, and the uh, Hilton, was it the Hilton? I believe it's the Hilton in Waikiki. That had a really nice gym. And also the Omni Hotel in Texas has a really good gym out there. So always, to me, look for the hotel gym. Have a decent hotel gym. If not, if you can't really, if like the job that you're traveling for, pick the hotels. One of the things I can always say is that uh, bring portable workout equipment like Resistance bands have a body weight calisthenic workout program. Uh, if you can, if they have a treadmill, walk the treadmill, run the treadmill, do exercises on the treadmill, elliptical, same thing. Get just expend your calories, right? Just stay focused, expend those calories. Uh, that was number two. Bring portable equipment. <laughs> so bring portable equipment with you that can fit in your suitcase, that can fit into your luggage, that won't get flagged, and even carry on. That's why I said resistance bands are best. Uh, number three, the food that you eat. Um, a lot of bodybuilders that travel, when they travel, they um they bring meal prep containers. So they prep their meal, they'll freeze the food, they'll prep their meals, and then travel with the meals. I don't believe they do carry-ons, but uh, they do like they check in their luggage and they bring carry-on, put them in a, in a, in a, in a container. Freeze their food when they get to the hotel, put it in the freezer, they got a microwave, and they'll microwave, you know what I'm saying, the food. Might not be as, you know, tasty as you want, but if you got those fitness goals, a lot of times it's kind of like, all right, I got to hit these goals. Now, if you're a foodie like myself, right, that when you travel, you want to eat someplace that you've never eaten before. I mean, what's like, you know what I'm saying, you experience in life. So, you, you want to eat places and give reviews and just experience the new places and different types of food where you travel. Uh, if you're a foodie like myself, like a traveling foodie, what I typically do is one meal or two meals, right? I'm not going to go overboard with the meal. It's being moderation, right? And 
And be in moderation. I still eat lean, still eat light. Like I'll eat the chicken. I'll eat um like the chicken breast, maybe fish, uh salmon, stuff like that. I won't I won't go too overboard. I'm not getting a whole bunch of pies, I'm not getting a whole bunch of cakes and all that stuff. If it's a long trip, you're gonna have to make the sacrifice of pretty much if you're in a hotel that you can cook, you can microwave, or if you're in a hotel that has an oven and a stove, you're going to have to cook yourself, right? A lot of those days. Like if you're on a, let's just say you're on a seven day trip in the same hotel, you're eating out each day, unless it's a very lean and healthy restaurant or you got lean and healthy food at the restaurant, right? Where you trust that you're not really going over your calories and stuff like that. You can eat there or those restaurants, but a lot of times if you're eating, and you just like, uh, you're going to be eating burgers, eating pizza, eating hot dog, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Eating these freaking meals that's going to make you gain weight, fat, and water. So you want to look out for that. You know what I'm saying? So one, meal prep containers. If you're very, very, very serious about it, you know what I'm saying? Prep your own food and bring your own meals with you. There, there are meal prep companies out there that can prep your food for you. Hell, I'm actually thinking about going back into that. But... Meal prep containers and um, prepping your own food and eating lean and healthy. That's the number three. So number four, activities. Um, the activity that you, when you go on vacation, a lot of people just want to sit on the beach and watch the waves and just, just relax. When, when I went to the Dominican Republic, right, me and my wife, Went, current wife now went to the Dominican Republic. That was one of my favorite vacations. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the food portion, it was just it was just whole food. The food portion was like portioned perfectly, right? And then there were just so many activities you can do. The physical activity, you can walk around a resort. I mean, the heat, you sweat it well. And then they they fed you well. They fed you fruit. They fed they fed you vegetables. And even the the, the so called junk food they fed fed you. That food was portion control, right? It wasn't exuberant, exaggerated, none of that. You know, big ass portions and nothing like that. It was portion control, like literally like handful of portions. And you can keep on going up to the buffets, or you can eat all inclusive. And it was one of my favorite. I said one of my favorite vacation spots because I was never overly full, but I was satisfied. And that was like when I was really at my leanest, I believe. I was at my leanest in that time frame. I was at my leanest. And actually when I was down there, I lost more weight, believe it or not. I didn't gain any weight on that vacation. I lost more weight because of the portion control and the type of food that they serve down there. So activity, if you got any... Uh, like excursions and stuff like that, you know, just fun excursions, nothing that's, you know, too excruciating and too just, you know, uh, energy draining, just fun excursions and stuff like that. Like we did, uh, what, what they call paragliding, parasailing, parasailing. We did parasailing. We did that. We did the, um, the, the zip lining in the jungle. We did all that. So we did a lot of activity that kept us active. Didn't just sit around the hotel room. Didn't just sit on the beach. And then when we had to go to the beach, we had to walk from our resort to the beach. And that was a good about 10-minute walk to and from. So, and then they had trams, too, that you had to uh, go around or whatever. But the activities help out a lot as well. So, that's another thing you want to look at when you're on vacation, right? So, vacation for me is to unwind, relax, but also have fun and be active. Like me, I just can't be sedentary. I just can't sit. I just can't not do something. So, hell, you made me those memes when you go on vacation and it's kind of like when you live in your everyday life, 9 o'clock in the morning, you knocked out sleep on vacation. You up and ready to go because it's something new. It's something fun. And, hell, you paying for that. I'm paying for that. I can sleep at the crib. So, at the end of the day, that's how I see it. That's how I see it. So, those are my four tips um, on this podcast episode. Like I said, it's going to be a quick one. It wasn't going to be nothing, like, over overly exaggerated. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's four quick tips for crushing your fitness goals while traveling. I have imp implemented these tips myself. I have used them, and they work. 
So even if you come back from vacation and you gain a pound or two, a lot of times that's just water weight. So you can just piss that out or you can just, at the end of the day, you can uh, go to the gym and sweat it out in one day. So don't get over, don't get over cons- overly concerned about the pound or two that you put on on vacation. Nine times out of ten is water weight, and it'll go away real, real soon. Be right back where you started. Put these tips into play. If you like what you heard, click subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Subscribe to the podcast. You want to hear more? I got tons of other podcast episodes. If you have not listened to those, follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. And also uh, hit up h1warrior.com and h1warriorstore.com if you want to buy some merch to support the brand. Until next time. You know what it is. You've been listening to the Start It, Own It, Finish It podcast. Be sure to subscribe to receive new episodes. Link up with Dad Boy Mo 629 on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Or visit him at aceonewarrior.com. Until next time, start it, own it, finish it.